Hi, welcome to a tutorial about how to use PicMonkey to create a photo collage using images you have saved found on Google Images. The first thing you need to do is get to Google, but I want to do an image search, not just a web search. So if you follow the mouse up to the right hand side here, you can see images. I'm going to choose images and now you can see underneath the word Google it says images. That means I'm going to do an image search now. And I'm going to search for puppy dogs because I'm going to make a collage using puppy dogs. Who doesn't like puppy dogs? So there's my search. And let's see what images come up for puppy dogs. Oh, look, aren't they all so cute? They're adorable. So I've got lots to choose from. I, for this tutorial, am going to choose nine images because I know already in PicMonkey there's a nine image collage that I want to use. So in order to do that, I want you to save your images to your computer. So now we're going to save these images. What I want you to do, you'll move your mouse over top of the image that you want to save and you're going to right hand click and then you get the option to save image as. So we're going to choose that and we're going to save these onto our desktop but you don't want just a bunch of random pictures cluttering up your desktop so let's make a folder for them so I'm just going to click in this white area on my screen with my right hand mouse key and I'm choosing new folder and I'm going to call it puppies so there's my new folder I want to open it so I'm going to choose open and there's currently nothing in it, but I want to put this new image of a puppy in it, but I don't want to call it download, so I'm going to call it puppy1 and save. All right, so I'm going to go get a few more images of puppies. I like this one. Right hand click, save image as, and it took me right to that folder on my desktop. You can see it's called puppies. Just to double check it, I'll scroll down and find my puppy's folder. There it is. There's my other puppy picture. And I'm going to call this puppy, you guessed it, two. Let's go ahead and grab this puppy. Right hand click, save image as. It took me to the right place because I see my other two in there. So I'm choosing puppy three. Saving that. We'll grab this guy, save image as. Puppy four. Got five more to go. I'll get this group over here. Right hand click. Save image as puppy five. Right hand click. Save image as puppy six. Let's scroll down because I know there's lots more. Oh yeah, look at all of them. Let's get this one. Save image as puppy seven. Right hand click, save image as puppy eight. And I gotta get one more. We'll just take this one. Right hand click, save image as puppy nine. Now I've got nine pictures of cute puppies. So I've gotten all my images and now I need to go to PicMonkey.com. Right here is the web address, PicMonkey, all one word, .com. You'll know you're in the right place when you see this cute little monkey right here. Uh, you can see there's several options across the top here. But I said today's tutorial we're focusing on making a collage. So that's what I'm going to choose. I go ahead and click on collage. The first thing it's going to do is say, hey, what pictures do you want? Well, since the latest folder I was in happened to be my puppy picture folder, it took me there. So I am going to go ahead and select all of them at one time by clicking and holding down the control key. So I push control and I click on that picture and I get puppy two, three. Notice they're all being highlighted because I'm holding down my control key. Once I have selected all of them, I simply choose open and it's going to import those pictures right into PicMonkey. Now PicMonkey has imported all of my puppy pictures 
and it's taken me to the collage making area of PicMonkey. So the default collage is one that looks like this. But as you heard me say earlier, I imported nine pictures and I know there's one in here that will handle nine pictures. So I'm going to go over to the left hand side and I'm choosing the option that says layouts. When I choose that, you will see that I have lots of options to make collages. Now while we're here, I want to point something out. These last three at the bottom have this crown icon beside them. And you see what just popped up. It said this is a Royale feature. Well, we don't have that feature because we use the free version. So anything with a crown beside it is not an option for us. So we're going to stay away from those. I'm actually going to go up to Square Deal. And then I'm choosing the one that I had in mind. The one that does nine. And there it is. So I've got nine slots here for pictures. So I go back to my images. And if I roll my mouse over that icon, I see images show up. And all I do is simply click and drag these pictures to where I want them to go in my collage. You can see as I move the photo over, the square highlights. That's the square it's going to drop on. So I'm going to let go of my button. Voila, there's my puppy picture. I'm going to do that with the rest of these. Click and drag. Let go of the button. There it is. Click and drag. Let go of the button. There it goes. Now, if I wanted to move him over a little bit, that's all I have to do to adjust the image once it's in the square you like. I'm going to click and drag. And click and drag. See, that one's a little big, the square, but that's okay. Those three puppies are... Or I could get those three, whatever I want to do. We'll stick with those three right there in the middle. I think that's the best option. And keep getting the rest of these. Click and drag. Click and drag. Now, I don't have to fill all these boxes with images. I could leave them blank and then I could put something else in them, like text. But I'm going to go ahead and fill them all. And there we go. Get him in there. Okay. So all my puppies are placed. Next thing I want to do before I get it out of the screen is change the background color. You can see I put my mouse on top of this painter's palette and it says background. All this is going to do is fill in the white spaces on my collage. So I'm just going to choose a color and you can see what it's done on the screen. Yellow, red, pink, purple. I'm going to go back and use green and then below it there's a slider button and I can choose to change the shade of green. I like that. I'm happy with that. If I wanted to play with the spacing of the green, which I don't want to. I like the pictures of the puppy big. I'm going to go back and just leave a little bit in between. I'm happy with that. So next I'm going to choose edit and I'm going to get out of this screen and this time I'll be able to add text and more to my collage. And now my puppies are ready to be edited in my PicMonkey editor and you can see that's changed right up here. Now I'm in the editor and you notice I now have the option to add text. I have lots of other options too, but for today, I really just want to focus on adding text. So I'm going to go ahead, before I choose a font or anything like that, I want to actually type what I want it to say. So I'm just choosing this button, add text. And it'll show up over here. So here's my text box. It's kind of like working in Publisher, where your every text you add is actually going to be in a text box. I'm just going to simply give this collage a title. So I'm going to type, I'm going to double click in here. I'm going to call this Mrs. Hannah's Puppy Collage. Now you can see it's left justified, but I actually, since it's a title, want to center it. So I just simply went over to my text editor and chose centering. 
okay? But I also would like to play with the size of it and the text. So I'm going to select everything in this text box because that's how I let the computer know what I want to edit. So I have to highlight it all. And over here I've got lots of choices. Now again, you're going to see those crowns. I cannot use that font and neither can you because you do not have a paid subscription to PicMonkey. But there's plenty of other fonts. I'm going to use this one. I think it's cute. I think it makes sense for puppies. And I'm going to change my text color. Notice I'm back over here. I'm actually going to change it to white. I'd like to see what that looks like on this. And if I don't like it, I can always change it to something else. So I've changed it, and that's what it looks like. Yeah, it's not great. So actually what I might need to do is move it so that you can see. So it can't be on a white background. Because white on white don't show up. Let's try it here. That's a little better. Still not great. But you can then move it around. Put, and I'm going to say this is just about perfect. So then I'm going to choose save. And I'm going to give it a name. It says file name. I'm going to call it my puppy collage because that's what it is. I'm going to choose save to my computer and it's going to ask me for a location. Well guess what? The most recent location was that folder where I had all the puppy images in and that's a perfect place to save it. So I'm going to choose save and it's going to do that for me and then I'll be able to access it right on my computer and it's mine. And that is how to make a photo collage using PicMonkey from images you've saved on Google.